Hey everybody, it's Melissa with Mom Talk TV. Um, this week the ladies and I are going to be discussing budgets and I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how the moms of multiple children make it work because Matthew and I are interested in adding in more children to our clan and I think the more children you add, the more creative you have to be. You gotta make that dollar stretch. So I'm going to talk to you about how I do it primarily single income family and um, just a family of three right now. So I do go back to work in July of 2014, but until then, uh, we just rely on Matt's income. So how we make that work is we have to be super creative with things that we can control where the money goes, like the variable expenses. We have two categories, fixed income and variable expenses. The fixed or the fixed expenses, not the fixed income, sorry. The fixed expenses are things we can't do anything about, like the mortgage payments, the vehicle payments, um, health insurance, bank fees, every little thing is budgeted so we know that we have to put away money for that. The things that we can control are groceries and gas. Um, even our utilities fall under the fixed expenses category um, because we know what we're gonna pay every month. And I think the, the thing that's helped me the most in making sure that I know how much our power is going to be, our power company offers this really cool thing called equalized billing. I don't know if every power company is like that, but if not, they should be. What the power company does is evaluate the consumption of power used over the last 12 months and divides that up into 12 and then you have your monthly payment. So no matter what um, energy amount that you've used in the winter time, you're only gonna pay a certain amount. So with me, um, we pay 175 bucks and I know we definitely don't use $175 in the summertime. Matthew and I don't really use air conditioning or anything like that. And we do if it's like super, super, super hot. But normally our power is kept um, around 80 bucks, $100 in the summertime. It's always less than 100 in the summer. So for example, in the wintertime, when you have your house super hot because it's freezing cold, um, things like $300 power bills can happen. And I just got one. <laughs> but instead of me paying $300, I'm only gonna pay $175 and it will even out when the summer happens. So at the end, I think in August it happens, or September, somewhere around there, they reevaluate you and figure out if you're paying the appropriate amount so you can even out at the end of the year. If you have any credit, they will credit you onto the next um, power bill, or you may have a little bit of a debt. And I think I have, um, so far I think $36 debt in total, and that will even itself out come summertime, so I'm not worried about it. <clears throat> so I know what the power is gonna be every single month. I'm not wondering like, okay, do I have to like spend this much money or whatever? That I know is bang on and that helps save so much money. The next thing I do to save us a ton of money is I don't buy my meat at the grocery store. Uh, I buy in bulk at a butcher shop and I have saved ridiculous amounts of money. Um, we budget for, try to stay $300 a month for groceries. Um, this does not include things like um, baby formula because my daughter is a formula fed baby. Um, but that's, I think, $60 a month. Yeah, because we buy her stuff at Costco, so it's definitely cheaper there. But um, we mainly cook with chicken and beef so those are our, our main meats and I buy them at the butcher shop and I go in and say okay I want such and such an amount of chicken and so much an amount of um, ground beef so I have a $75 a month um, meat allowance if you will and I go into the butcher shop and spend $50 on my main meats and then I will go to the grocery store and spend the other $25 on things like a roast, bacon, sausage, um, things that we don't consume a lot of and it saves so much money. Meat in Canada is super expensive at the grocery store. For example, four boneless skinless chicken breasts at my local um, grocery store is about 30 bucks. So 
that's that's the the thirty dollars is how much I spend in one month for chicken. So I don't I'm not a couponer. Um, like I have little flyers with coupons that come in the mail, and um, I will use them if I think that um, I could benefit from it. But I am not one that sits there and coupons. I don't look for coupons. <laughs> um, I don't know, and I still manage to save so much money simply by buying my meat in a butcher shop. Um, we do have fun money, we have an emergency fund that we save for, but honestly, I can't tell you how much money I've saved by not buying my meat at the grocery store that I consume um, the most of. Also, um, everything that we make um, I make at home. We don't eat out a whole lot. One, it's not really that great for you. And two, I like my cooking better. <laughs> um, I have a bunch of cooking videos on my channel if you want to check them out, but I'm trying to better my eating habits and it's not going to happen overnight. I need to learn um, to eat better. So I'm trying by doing everything homemade and I save a lot of money that way. Um, Matthew and I calculated it up and I think last month we spent $70 eating out or something like that. That's totally unnecessary. I mean, there's going to be days where you're like, I don't feel like cooking and I have those days. I'm severely, severely anemic. So I'm tired all the time and I never want to cook. I just, I, I don't have the energy for it. But then I think about the expense that we'd have if we were to get, get takeout or order in or whatever and... I don't want to do it anymore. So, um, not eating out, buying my meat at a butcher shop, um, definitely the equalized billing with my power company, that's definitely helped. So, that's how we budget, and I'm looking forward to seeing how everyone else budgets. If you want to um, take part in this video, just send us a message um, and let us know if you do this video just um, message the link to it in our um, message thing on Facebook. I can't talk. It is actually Tuesday morning at quarter to nine in the morning and I have my coffee. I am so tired. <laughs> Ellie was up every two hours last night because the poor girl is teething. She's just about to get her third tooth. Third tooth, guys. She'll be six months on the 18th. She's growing up way too fast. Anyways, I'm going off track. If you want to do this video, message us the link to Facebook or YouTube and we'll feature it on our Facebook page. If you want to do uh, any of the topics um, on Mom Talk TV, just message us and we can discuss how you can make that happen. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thumbs up this video. Leave comments. Let me know how you budget participate on YouTube or Facebook, whatever you're choosing. And I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye-bye.